So this is part two of our uh, enzyme, enzyme kinetics video and this video deals with this question and the question says an experiment is designed to study the differences between two tissue specific isoenzymes of a particular enzyme. So there's two forms of the same enzyme. Okay, The Vmax of enzyme 1 so let's say this is enzyme 1. Vmax of this enzyme is 300. And the Vmax of enzyme 2, so they're isoenzymes, right? They're very similar, but they're not exactly the same. The Vmax of enzyme 2 is about 30. Which of the following Km values for enzyme 1 and 2 is more accurate? So pretty much we need to find the Km values for this or we need to kind of interpret the Km values from this or that's a notion of the, uh, of the question. So one graph that I did not talk about before, I am bound to talk about, talk about it now because there is no getting away from it, was this graph. Usually questions doesn't come from this graph but they are coming now so we have to talk about it. On the x-axis we have the substrate and on the y-axis we have the velocity. So from this graph, how can you find Km? Okay, what you do is this is this this is the slope, right? And you take half of the slope. Half of the slope is going to be the V max. And you draw the line parallel like this, and this the the x-intercept is going to be the Km. So there is roughly a relationship between Km and Vmax and the relationship is Km is equal to substrate at half of Vmax. Okay? Km is equal to substrate, substrate at half of Vmax. So this is not a direct relationship but you can find the substrate if you can find the Km if you have this substrate. But what if you have the Vmax? Will you be able to find the Km? No, because we, you need the amount of substrate. Now in this question, you have Vmax. And what is Vmax? Vmax is the velocity. Vmax, and what determines velocity? V, it's, it's the affinity of the enzyme. So the affinity of the enzyme has really no relationship with the Km and Km determines what? That's the amount of substrate or amount of concentration of the substrate. How can you determine concentration with affinity? They're two different concepts. But if you had the concentration of the substrate, you could have found out the Km or something like that, right? So there is a there is somewhat of a relationship between Km and Vmax, but there is no direct relationship. That's the point I was trying to make. Now, that's the, that's the whole concept of the question. So you cannot just say Km is equal to 1 by Vmax. That's really not a real equation. Km is not equal to 1 by Vmax. Km is equal to substrate at half Vmax. Okay? This is a wrong concept or a wrong equation to think about. So in this question now, let's look at the option. Option number A says Km cannot be predicted solely by the value of Vmax. That's what I think is the answer. But let's look at the other option anyways. Option B. The Km for enzyme 1 and enzyme 2 will differ but cannot be quantified for the given da data. No matter what data you give, you cannot find Km for, from Vmax. It cannot be done. So that's why that is not the right answer. Uh, option C. C and D, they both, C, D, and E, you know, they both, uh, you know, strive to come up with uh, a number. And we cannot quantify this value, so that cannot be the answer. So in this case, the right answer is going to be Km. This question looks very, very innocent, but it is actually quite hard. Um, you know, looking at it, you might just think, okay, and it's half of the max, and you can do the do the do the math but really it would it, it's a big pitfall so watch out for these kind of questions